And now this is the second movie you do with Woody Allen, after Magic and the Moonlight. Uh, how was this second experience? How different is uh, this uh, story from uh, the atmosphere of Magic in the Moonlight? Oh, very different. Yeah. It was pretty much the opposite of Magic in the Moonlight. Mm -hmm. um, Magic in the Moonlight was, you know, really special and magical, and we were in the Côte d'Azur, and it was just gorgeous, and we all spent a lot of time together, and it was lovely. And, um, and this movie, just the, because of the theme, I think, or the themes, I think that just the t general tone of the movie was pretty different. Um, and so the feeling on set was was pretty different too. But still, a, still a really a really good experience. What's the lesson that your character uh, learns during the story with a story of uh, similar, in my opinion, to crimes and misdemeanors or mm -hmm. match point? Yeah, I think maybe just. When someone tells you who they are to believe mm -hmm. them, if someone tells you they're crazy and they're very troubled, believe them instead of believing that you can save them or change them from mm -hmm. being that mm -hmm. way. <laughs> um, I think that's probably the ultimate lesson that Jill has to go through and learn. Um, but there's, there's lots of uh, themes, obviously, about randomness and chance and luck and yes. fate and um, what's meant to be and what is morality and you know it, it is is or was Abe a hero and or was he you know a, a psychopath or was he both I mean I think there's a lot of a lot of things to debate over with yourself and to examine or at least I did Woody Allen always creates wonderful characters, female characters, characters of women and girls. Mm -hmm. um, how do, uh, which one of the past uh, actresses of Woody Allen movies do you love most, and, and how has changed uh, your your work, the meeting with him? Oh, um, I mean, I've loved so many actresses. I really love Diane Weist. Yes, I think Diane Weist is absolutely amazing. Um, and I mean, obviously, I love Diane Keaton. I've been pretty clear about that. But yeah, I've I've really gotten I, I'm on a Diane Weist kick, so I would I would say that right now. And uh, uh, how is uh, your uh, artistic relationship uh, with Woody? How has been important to work with him uh, as an actress? Um, it, well, I I think I just you know I I like him as a director. I like his approach as a director. I think he's very he's very clear on what he wants, and I think he doesn't. He's not precious. He doesn't, you know, grasp onto the. I mean, obviously, I think his writing is just some of the best writing I've ever seen. I mean, yes. as an actor, you're very lucky to get to do something that Woody's written because it's so. He's just an incredibly brilliant writer. And as a director, he doesn't remain attached so much to the exact wording of things, but he knows what he wants. He knows what story he wants to tell. He's made over 50 films and. Um, he's prolific in a way that, you know, I, I think almost no other living director has ever been able to, you know, it's just every single year there's a new film. Yeah. Um, and he's able to let go of things, and it's it's a nice atmosphere, and I think it felt kind of pressureless to me. It helped me to relax. Um, I think for some people, maybe it's the opposite <laughs> experience, but I felt, I felt, uh, yeah, it's very free. Uh, Irrational Man is an out-of-competition special event in Cannes Film Festival, and this year the symbol of uh, the festival is a great uh, movie actress of all the times, Ingrid Bergman. Mm. She's the, the face of the festival. Is an inspiring uh, uh, actress for you. How do you like Ingrid Bergman? Absolutely. That's so. Uh, what that's so interesting because I'm about to do a film um, about an aspiring actress whose hero is Ingrid Bergman. <laughs> so I'm just learning about a lot, a lot more about Ingrid Bergman, and uh, it's. I really have just. I mean, I, I've seen very little of what she's done, and I'm now becoming more, more. Um, I was going to say learned, obviously learned isn't a word, but schooled perhaps <laughs> on the uh, on the history of Ingrid Bergman. So it's, it's I, and I had no idea until right now when you said that, that she was the face of Cannes this year. Yeah. So that's really, that's really interesting. That's very cool. 
And um, uh, at the Oscars, do you remember when uh, there was the speech of Patricia Arquette for, uh, for women? Yeah. Uh, it was so important. And this edition of Cannes Film Festival, women rights uh, are so important. Uh, there are many events related to this. How do you see the female empowerment uh, in uh, cinema? As vital. <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly vital. I mean, I think, I, what was the last report that 12% of women yeah. were leading um, films at the box office, but half of the population that go to mm -hmm. movies are women. So it's obviously, I mean, I, I don't know that it needs to be said again, but it probably does need to be said again that there is not equality for women in film at this point. Um, and so I would hope that that would be ever increasing and it's so wonderful that everybody's able to be so outspoken about this because there's no way to go but up at this point and and you know it, and I think also it, it, I think we're lucky to be actresses and writers and directors in times like this as women because I think there's a real energy going toward hopefully there's an energy moving toward creating more yes female, complex, beautiful, dynamic characters and stories about women. So I just hope that that, that tide continues to grow and we have a responsibility to, to keep pushing that forward. And finally, Woody Allen is having his eighth birthday in December. He's mm -hmm. uh, becoming 80. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's so creative. Uh, he has mm -hmm. such a, a young energy. Yeah. What do you wish to him? And in a, in a line, how, how do you admire Woody Allen? I, I wish him a hundred more years. <laughs> 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 because I know he's very afraid of death. <laughs> 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 and also because I hope he keeps creating, you know, for a hundred more years. Um, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Grazie molto. Thank you so much.